It is November 10th, 2025, and we're tracking a lot in the weather forecast today, including very strong trade winds over the next couple of days and a high surf advisory due to a large swell that actually prompted a couple of beach closures across portions of the state. Hey, everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. You can see not much going on out there. A few clouds just upstream of each island and a few showers actually coming down over windward Oahu as I'm recording this. There's really not a ton of rainfall. Most of the showers today over the windward side, very quick moving and also over the Ko'olau. A few sprinkles in town over the last couple of hours, but overall relatively dry. Hopefully you saw a little bit of rainfall over the weekend where we saw that very weak front. You can see the front has moved over the island chain. It's right down here. Hopefully we got some beneficial rainfall in areas that definitely need it. You can see off towards our northeast, we've got this low pressure system. That was one of the reasons we saw the development of the uh, cold front out there. This is not going to affect us. It's going to continue spinning away. The main story is the development of this clearer area to our north. High pressure that's going to get really strong in the middle of this week. I do want to give you a quick look at what we're tracking out there in our uh, first alert weather headlines. We've got a high surf, high surf advisory that's going to continue. Strong trade winds and windward clouds and showers continuing. So we're focusing on those two things, high surf advisories, strong trades. Really, that's going to be what we're talking about throughout the rest of today. We do have a high surf advisory for north facing shores until 6 p.m. on Tuesday. And again, I do want to show you what we've actually been seeing out uh, on some of these areas that were impacted by the swell. Just giving you a quick look at uh, Onekaha Kaha Beach Park over on Hawaii Island. This video was given to us by the county of Hawaii. You can see the beach park has been flooded. This north swell has been moving in. Some of the beach closures uh, today included, of course, Onekaha Kaha Beach Park, Moko'ola, Coconut Island, uh, Carl Smith Beach Park, Richardson Ocean Park, Lele'ivi Beach Park, and just a quick note, Onekaha Kaha and Moko'ola will continue to be closed tomorrow for cleanup because you can see in this video out here and also a couple of areas over on windward oahu saw some uh, damage from the erosion we sent a photographer in this video up here over in kaava where you're seeing uh the swell really just eating away at some of these uh homeowners uh just front lots you're really seeing some damage out there we're going to do a deeper dive uh, on this uh, in our newscast later this uh, afternoon, and that'll be available on hawaiinewsnow.com, so you can always take a quick look at that. But let's just get right back into what we're seeing with the uh, high surf. I want to show you the actual numbers. Outside of the high surf advisory, we have a marine weather statement because of surges in north-facing harbors, like over in Hilo and Kahului. So if you're a mariner trying to get out of the harbors over the next couple of days, you might actually want to be a little bit careful going forward. And outside of that, we've got a small craft advisory because of the choppy conditions, breezy, gusty trade winds over the open over the open ocean. And that's going to continue until 6 p.m. Tuesday. But if I were a betting man, I would not be surprised if this is extended further in time. Easterlies uh, between 15 or 25 to 30 knots out there. And those trades aren't going away anytime soon this week. A quick look at the actual numbers in our surf and shoreline forecast. North facing shores around 10 to 15. 15 feet west facing shores 3 to 5 a small boost on south facing shores east facing shores seeing that trade swell so large choppy conditions out there you see the north swell that's been impacting us today that's going to continue to decline as we're going throughout tuesday another boost coming in from the northwest as we're going into wednesday morning a little bit smaller on thursday and friday slowly declining another swell for the northwest going into saturday and sunday it's just a reminder that we're getting into winter where we're going to start seeing these larger northerly swells moving in so outside of surf like i've mentioned Wind is the big story. A quick look at the surface pressure out here. I want to give you the big picture. We've got this strong high pressure system that's off towards our north, and it is going to continue strengthening as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday. And because of the clockwise circulation of air around high pressure, you're going to be seeing strong northeasterlies out there. This starts to move off towards the east as we're going into Thursday and Friday. A more typical trade wind pattern is expected as we're going into Saturday and Sunday. But again, we might have a better chance for rainfall going into the back half of this week. 
I'll show you why. We've got this trough that's set up to our northwest, our, our, our ridge. This is the high pressure off towards our northwest. There's this low pressure at the mid-levels that's off towards the northeast. This is going to continue really causing breezy trades at the mid-level. So we're seeing high pressure at all levels out there. But as we're going into the back half of this week, you start to see a little bit of lower pressure troughing over the island chain. This is Friday. You can see that's going to continue throughout Friday and Saturday. This is also visible at the upper level. So we've got that low that's off towards our northeast going to continue spinning away from us high pressure over the island chain and then we start to see the development of some troughing trying to dip down from the northeast to the southwest going into friday and saturday so maybe some upper level support for a better chance for some rainfall going into friday and saturday but that's still going to be relatively scattered and will evolve over the next couple of days our winds outside pretty breezy between 15 to 25 miles per hour and going forward in our first alert wind cast you can see this afternoon between 15 to 25 miles per hour even stronger as we're going into Tuesday afternoon between 20 to 25 miles per hour more southwesterly over in Kailua Kona and then on Wednesday afternoon pretty gusty. Again, I would not be surprised if we see a wind advisory issued by the National Weather Service over the next couple of days relatively dry over the next couple of days a couple of windward showers you can see some more moisture riding in along the trades as we're going into wednesday and thursday i do want to give you a quick look at the local view this is the european weather model going forward throughout the rest of this afternoon a few sprinkles out there tuesday afternoon is a little bit drier still windward showers out there but going into tuesday night into wednesday you're starting to see more moisture riding in along the trades persisting throughout wednesday evening and into thursday and then as we go into friday with the potential for that upper level support we might be seeing a, a chance for some heavier showers out there. I'm still fine-tuning the details on that, but just giving you a heads up that that is a trend in the weather models. You're seeing this play out in the American model as well. A little bit drier throughout Monday and Tuesday, and then more moisture rides in along the trades for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the potential for heavier showers over the eastern half of the state going into Friday. Luckily, we are seeing breezy trade winds out there. We just saw episode 36 of the eruption over at Kilauea and Halima'oma'u Crater. Seeing some VOG seep out of the vent right over there. And of course, with the breezy trades in store, VOG really not a concern. It's going to be keeping all of the VOG off towards the west and south. The west, no VOG from Aoi County, Oahu, or Kauai out there. Most of it along the Kona coast of Hawaii Island, but it's going to be moving out pretty quickly. Here's your island by island forecast. If you're a veteran, thank you for your service. If you're active duty military as well, thank you for your service. Over on Kauai, we've got showers likely before noon, partly sunny conditions, windward showers out there on Oahu, 84 for a high temperature tomorrow in town, waking up around 74 tomorrow, mostly sunny out there, slightly drier air moving in throughout this evening and Tuesday. Uh, so allowing us to be a little bit uh, cooler as you're waking up in the morning. Scattered showers and mostly sunny conditions over uh, Maui County. 72 as you're waking up over in Kahului tomorrow. 81 for a high out there. Kailua Kona, afternoon showers are expected. Mostly sunny conditions. Showers are likely on the Hilo side. Partly sunny. Again, the better chance for moisture will be as we're going into the overnight to early morning, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Still pretty breezy over the northern portions of Hawaii Island. And of course, we're tracking the tropics, but overall, if I if I were a betting man, I, I really think we're not going to be seeing any more activity throughout the rest of November. Hurricane season officially ends the 30th. Well, yes, we still have to watch year-round, but overall, we're, we're cooling down out there. So again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you get a notification when these videos go live every day around 4 p.m. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.